some of the shackles that they've created and some of the problems they've created and some of the pits that they've dug and they are, they've improved themselves they've educated themselves and Lord today we rejoice in all of their labors and their hard work and honor them today and I pray Lord that this just is the beginning and a stepping stone of great things to come in each of their lives that you bless them and many of the families that are represented it here today and that you bless them and Father, we are grateful for this day. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Hello and welcome families. I'm Becky Guppy. I'm the warden here. Um, I just want to say thank you, first of all, for coming four hours from everywhere to be here today. Guys, why don't you give your families a round of applause for that? depends a lot on you and so we appreciate you being here to support them and uh, just, you're important you're very very important to them um, Arden thank you for being here today we have a tremendous support system here in Alva with our citizens advisory and and oh there you are Liz um, they come and help and support and anything we need they help us um, provide for the needs for the guys so we really appreciate their help um, I'm not going to stand up here and talk a whole lot. I just want to do one little thing. Um, I want to do a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. It says, The ultimate measure of man is not where he stands in the moment of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at the time of challenge and controversy. This has been your time of challenge and controversy, right? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Where you stand and what you do and, and when you leave here will be the ultimate measure of the changes that you have made and who you are to become. Become something great, okay? Become something great. Um, and because I'm a big softie, we kind of have a special thing going on here today. We have a first birthday. <laughs> and we want it to be a memorable one. <laughs> Thank you. So happy first birthday. What's his first name? Jaden. Jay, happy first birthday, Jay. Thank you. Thank you.
scored in the top 20%, and of those, we have, I think, nine here today with us. They're wearing the satin sashes. <coughs> our salutatorian today is Andrew Waltz, and our valedictorian is Cole Bumgardner. These honor students will come and share their thoughts on this occasion. Congratulations, Mr. Waltz. Hello, everyone. I'm Cheney Waltz, and I finally earned my GED. I would like to congratulate everyone here on earning their GED. For some of us, this was a very big challenge that we had to refuse, that we refused to complete when we had our freedom. Through this program, a lot of us have realized the importance of an education and have finally come to care about ourselves. An education is an important step to begin unlocking doors to our future. I've always wanted to further my education by earning a degree, and now that I've accomplished earning my GED, I plan on doing just that after I discharge. I will complete this program and lead a successful life. What I've experienced here has inspired me to become a better man. Thank you everyone for your support, and again, congratulations to the fellow trainees on this accomplishment. Our valedictorian is Mr. Cole Bumgardner. Hello, my name is Cole Bumgardner, and I would like to start off by thanking everyone who came to support the graduates today. It would have been much more difficult to get this far without the support of our loved ones. Bill Johnson is not where any of us plan to be at this particular time in our lives, but I have seen this program change the lives of many people and give a second chance to many good people who simply chose the wrong path in life. As I look at the graduates here today, I see men with the desire to change who have taken the first steps in improving their lives. I would also like to thank the staff here at BJCC for giving me the opportunity to get my GED, encouraging me to become more disciplined and showing me a new way of life. This program has given me a clear view of what my life can become with hard work, dedication, and sobriety. I would also like to give a special thank you to my family who has been with me every step of the way, even when I gave them a million reasons not to be. Again, thank you all for coming out to support the 2019 graduates of BJCC. I understand we have some other special guests here today. Represent Representative Carl Newton is here, and Mr. Ted Durfee, former Deputy Warden. Would you please stand? <laughs> Our keynote speaker today is Mr. Shane Hansen. Mr. Hansen began his undergraduate work at Northwestern Oklahoma State University in 2004. In 2008, he received his bachelor's degree. He received his master's from Northwestern in 2010. He continues to further his education as, and is in the final stages of acquiring his doctorate from Walden University. He has been employed full-time with Northwestern since 2008 and currently is the instru instructor of sports science. While employed with Northwestern, he has served in the capacity as head coach for the cross-country team from 2008 to 2013, the men's assistant basketball coach, in 2014, 13 to 14, the director of Northwestern Wellness Center, and 2014 to 2017, the director of student and students and housing. Mr. Hansen has been married for 12 years and been blessed with two children, a son and one daughter. The past four years, Mr. Hansen has also enjoyed having the opportunity to be the Methodist youth pastor at his church here in Alba. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Shane Hansen. Thank you all very much. I appreciate uh, appreciate that introduction. And, uh, and BJ 
CJCC, everybody involved, Gordon Guffey, uh, everybody that, that has been involved with allowing me this opportunity, thank you. I truly appreciate that. I'm honored to, to be here. Uh, I'd be remiss not to start with, with thanking God. Thank you. I, I want to thank God for the opportunity to be here, the opportunity to, opportunity to talk to each and every one of you, for this facility that we get to be in, and, and all the blessings that we've had. Um, Today's a, a, an amazing day. This is a beautiful day. I know you guys wait a long time for this. This is a big deal, and I want you guys to know that. Getting your GED is a big deal, uh, and I am incredibly happy for you to, to reach this step. Um, I'm going to start off with a definition of success. Uh, John Wood. John Wood was a basketball coach, but he was a philosopher. He was a, a, a theologian. And won 10 national titles in 12 years. So, any basketball guys in this group, that's a, that's a big deal. He's at UCLA. He defines success as peace of mind, which is a direct result of self satisfaction, knowing you did your best to become the best that you were capable of becoming. To sum that up, only you know what your potential is. You know what, what you put in to reach that. And are you doing everything you can do to reach that potential? And this is a big step in that process, guys. This is huge, you know, and I'm happy for you um, to, to be at this point. The book of James in the, in the Bible, James 1, verse 2 through 3, it says, My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it pure joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. You've been tested. You've been tested, and you're still going through some of those tests. Um, it's hard to say I'm thankful for for the trials, but the trials, if used properly, they will guide you through the next steps, whatever those next steps are for each and every one of us. So uh, there's some people with GED. I just did a quick Google search. People with a GED. Why is a GED a big deal? People with a GED that went the, uh, a non-traditional route, in whatever capacity. Who we would consider famous people in the in the world. There's some some um, actors and some others: Nicolas Cage, Jim Carrey, Beyonce, 50 Cent, Michael J. Fox, Chris Rock, and Dave Thomas, the Wendy's guy, the, with the white beard the, that founded Wendy's, right? All with a GED. There's a guy named Eric Thomas that uh, that I I watch and I listen to and I and I look up to as a role model. You've got Eric Thomas who has a GED. He speaks to uh, Major League Baseball teams, NBA teams, all sorts of I mean, Fortune 500s. He has a GED, went to college, it took him 12 years to get a four-year degree. He makes a really good point. He says, they don't put how long it took me on my diploma. They don't put that, that duration on there. So my start doesn't define my finish. My challenge to you is finish strong. Whatever the challenges have been, you've had to overcome some stuff. Some self-inflicted stuff, whatever the situation, there, there's been situ there's been you've had to overcome. Those trials are going to lead to perseverance. And this is a this is a step in that process. Harry Thomas says uh, a couple things. He says, one thing that, that really stuck out to me, be allergic to average. Be allergic to average. In everything, whatever it is, be allergic to average. Whatever average is, be allergic to average. Don't be average at folding laundry. Don't be average at doing dishes. Don't be average at being a dad. Don't be average at being a husband. Don't be average at being an employee. Don't be average in your education. And you're taking steps towards that right now. But challenge be allergic to average. You don't have to be famous. To make a difference, I listed off some famous people with a GED. You don't have to be famous to make a difference. Be famous to the people who love you. Be famous to the people that you love. I have two young kids at home, and I want to be famous to them. I will probably never be famous. And that's okay. Because the world isn't my judge. My father, my heavenly father is my judge. And I want to be famous in his eyes. I want to be famous in their eyes. I want to be famous in my wife's eyes. And I challenge you. To be famous in the eyes of those that, that love you and care about you. And a lot of those people are in this room. So I'm going to leave you with a couple other um, scripture. 
1 Corinthians 10, 13. So we, you guys are going to face temptations when you get out of here. You're going to face temptations in here. You're going to face temptations. I face temptations. Everybody in here faces temptations. 1 Corinthians 10, 13 says, No testing has overtaken you that is not common to everyone. God is faithful, and He will not let you be tested beyond what you can endure. But with testing, He will provide a way. This is important, guys. He will provide a way out so that you may be able to endure it. You're going to be tempted. He provides a way out. There is a way out uh, to overcome those temptations. And that primary way out, Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I challenge you. Um, stay positive. Stay motivated. Achieve your goals, whatever they are. Set them high. Be a lifelong learner. I'm in it right now. All but dissertation on my doctorate. And I'm telling you, it's a grind. I got my master, I got my undergrad, I got my master's, and now I'm getting a doctorate with two young kids, a seven-year-old and a four-year-old. And late nights, early mornings, what was I doing at, at five o'clock this morning? I was working on it, guys. Be a lifelong learner. You don't have, and, and that may lead education, through the education system, that may be in um, a different avenue, through, through Votex, through just learning. It may just be a YouTube learner, guys. I hate to learn on YouTube all the time. It may be whatever it is. Be a lifelong learner and, and be allergic to average. Do everything you can to reach your potential to be to, to reach that definition of success that, that John Wooden laid out. I, you all don't know me. I don't know you, but I am proud of you. And I know something about you. You've got the ability to persevere, or you wouldn't be sitting with that regalia on that you have. It's a big deal. So I, I'm thankful that for every single one of you. I'm thankful for this opportunity. And, and I truly pray that you strive to reach your potential. So thank you guys for this opportunity. And God bless you. James <laughs> 
Fortner. <laughs> Fernando Franco. <laughs> Michael Garza. Education and the State of Oklahoma, 
I now present to you the BJCC Summer Class of 2019. Graduates and graduates. Chaplain Clapp will be presenting those during the reception to the graduates. We have a God's Book of Proverbs for the graduate and a nice bookmark that says congratulations from the first Presbyterian Church. <laughs> Dr. Ely was unable to be here today for closing remarks. And so I'm just going to say I am extremely proud of you guys. I see you when you first come in, you took that new arrival test, and we talked about making the best choices for yourself. And you've done that. A lot of you, it's the confidence. You lack some confidence, but now you've mastered this. Go out into this world and make good use of it. Chaplain, when you come for the benediction. <coughs> for far too long, the voices in this world have said we're ashamed of you. Today, we're proud of you. <laughs> Father, we are so grateful that we can have a place such as this to help change lives. And Lord, these men still got a long road ahead of them, but today the road got a little bit easier. Today, they feel what they should have known a long time ago, that they are valued, they're precious, and you have a great purpose for them. Use them in a mighty way. Bless their homes, their families, their lives. And Father, it is to you we look for uh, your help and your guidance in the future of these men. And thank you for this day. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to thank everyone for attending today. We've had photographers here that have videoed this event and have taken pictures of the graduates as they receive their diplomas. They will also be available after the ceremony to take family pictures. There is a group picture that was taken yesterday. All of these pictures and the video will be available to order online. Each graduate has been given a sheet explaining the procedure to order pictures. <coughs> and I do have some examples. Uh, they usually take the pictures right over here, so once we march out, if you're wanting a picture, then keep your robe and cap on, come back in, get mine. There's individual pictures like this. There's individual or pictures with family. Uh, this looks like this guy had a picture with the speaker maybe at that day. He's willing to stay around. And then here's one with, with family, different sizes. So if you want pictures, uh, that opportunity is there. We invite everybody to stay for a reception. We have cookies out there, and that's what you're waiting on. But thank you all for coming and supporting our graduates today.